let's start with the EVA stuff because right that is that's a um honestly them showing us EVA v2 I expected it to be different I expected it to be better I was not expecting completely changed up animations I was not expecting essentially a new way to travel it felt like that yeah. addition added a lot more character to Star Citizen it, it adds so much more polish to the way it looks it felt like sometimes you don't know I found in my in in working in architecture sometimes you don't know what the right design is until you see it and when you see it you think it shouldn't have been any other way this is the way it should be you don't know what you need until you see it in a lot of cases and this i think eva animation once you see it you're like oh yeah of course this mm -hmm. is how they were evaing in the expanse too like it feels realistic it feels immersive and cool and it's a small thing uh, you know mechanically you're still traveling through space from one location to another but it does add that level of interaction with the world, that level of tangibility where you know you can grab on the things and move around, that it just makes it feel like, um, you know, it's maybe a little bit more dangerous and, and, and mysterious, you know? Yeah. Especially how they were talking about with this system, they're removing or they're adding jet fuel to your suit, and certain suits won't have the ability to EVA with uh with like nozzles so you will have to rely on moving yourself across and then taking that leap of faith where you just try to angle yourself perfectly and coast towards the next point to grab onto um imagine the tension that's going to add in a situation where you're EVAing without uh without fuel yeah. or without an EVA suit that's going to be intense that's so that's a new form of racing right there. Like you're yeah. you're off with some friends on the outside of your, I don't know, your Idris and mm -hmm. you just, you get out together and you're like, hey, let's just race from one end to the other and see who gets there first. Like it's, it's one of those things that's not a game changing necessarily addition, but it can change your gameplay at so many different levels. I mean, we're talking new puzzles, new ways of getting around derelict ships, new ways of repairing yeah. your own ship. The idea Combat that you can- changes too. Yeah. In, in zero G. Yep. Zero like, G how, like that, you're going to be like a little profile looking at somebody above you. You know, it, it's going to be a completely different kind of experience. And for those who didn't know, they did they did kind of tease it during the event. But Sata Ball mm -hmm. has been a very, very long sought after game in in lore that essentially plays out uh, like how Ender's Games competitions did, where you have this sort of zero G arena where you're dodging between shapes and trying to get to the mm -hmm. other side. This, this seems like a great first step towards actually having that be a reality too. Yeah, definitely. I mean, there's there's a lot more possibilities with this. I think it's a it's a small thing, but a big thing. Yeah. And 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 to kind of segue, I think it's also important to talk about another thing they mentioned in in the same conversation is about how you you go through spaces using ladders and mantling. I think all of this could be lumped together in just overall movement polish. Movement polish in EVA, movement polish in in, in gravity uh, gravity spaces. It just makes the whole game feel like a triple A game. It feels it feels more fluid, uh, more intuitive. Um, the way that they showed how you get up onto different platforms is a much more natural way. How you can grab onto ledges as you fall past them. Yeah. It just feels like uh, like oh yeah, of course that's that's what you could do. That's what you would do if you if you were there in that space. It no longer feels frustrating. Like I know that I could get over there if it were real, mm -hmm. if it were the real world, but I can't because there's not a mechanic to allow me to do that. But now there is. So I I think that that's great. I'm glad that we're finally seeing this kind of stuff. Yeah. And I'm excited to get it in our hands. I don't think it's gonna feel clunky anymore. It feels great. up to date. Like I'm playing a game that's yeah. in 20 at least 2015. You know like. Yeah, like you said, this game's always felt so clunky. Honestly, one of the worst parts mm -hmm. of this game for me has been moving around. Uh, the player models feel very light, you know, whether you're in an yeah. undersuit or heavy suit, you just feel light like you don't actually have any weight to you. The movements feel too fast and with not enough weight behind them. You can't clamber mm -hmm. up this area, but you can you can jump up that one. It's all felt very clunky. You're right about that. And this seems like something that will update the feel of the game to feel a little bit more in line with a more quality experience. A question yeah. I do have, though, is do you think that because the, he didn't mention when he was talking about EVA, talked about mm -hmm. how it didn't need markup with the grabby hands kind of getting you uh, 
sort of stabilizing you as you came into contact with the surface, but they didn't mention that when it came to the clambering and stuff. And I did notice that the edges were slightly different colored from the rest of the platforms. Do you think that that's going to be a systemic sort of thing, or do you think we'll still have I, I to be think, specific where we jump to? I, I'm 99, maybe 98 point nine percent sure that it's going to be systemic because that is the word of the day from them they kept talking about systemic 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 um and i i think that the system that they employed in caves is a perfect example of why it needs to be systemic mm -hmm. them using specifically marked up areas for mantling is frustrating yeah. um because <laughs> as a player uh who doesn't understand that system um or who even does because i know how that system's supposed to work a lot of the time it doesn't even work mm -hmm. like you're looking at it you're jumping against the wall and trying to get it just feels so dumb and clunky yeah um and not at all uh like a triple a title it feels like an indie game uh so uh, i think it's going to be systemic and, it, and if not it has to be because other games do it um cyberpunk does it for example they have uh systemic mantling over everything uh, I know it's not been placed because you can do it in places you're clearly not supposed to go to, like up on the tops of roofs, uh, like very, very far up. So, uh, yeah, yeah, I, I think so. That would be very be nice. That way. Do you think they mm -hmm. were trying not to do that before? Do you think they were trying to go with I, just I marked think, up or do you think that was placeholder? I think um, it might have been something that they were um, they were unsure of or they didn't have time to do like so many things in this game yeah they, they want to get it done they don't have the time to make it systemic so they put in a placeholder or they put in a stop gap and yeah so mm -hmm. okay well that's new movement controls